Hi guys, this travel guide is brought to you by a real local. Si, sono italiano. Today, we'll guide you through Milan with its signature galleria, the main square Piazza Duomo, this Forzesco castle, free entrance to private rooftops, and Italian pre-dinner aperitivo. Top cheap local eateries with no tourists, four must-visit architecture masterpieces all close to each other. Since there's so much content to fit in one single episode, we'll be doing a four-episode travel guide. You can find all of our episodes in the link here in the upper right corner. Every episode is curated to maximize your time and travel efforts. You may modify our itinerary as much as you like, but it might not be as efficient. Going to touristic places and following the beaten path is boring. We don't like boring. We take you to secret places that nobody knows. Enough with a pay this and pay that. Free. The episode in this pop-up here is connected to today's video. Watch both videos to get the full experience. All places from both episodes are super close. You can visit them on the same day. Before you get confused, Piazza in Italian means main square in English. We'll talk about biking, public transport, and cheap local eateries towards the end of the video. Watch till the end and enjoy Milan like a local. Our top tip is to go to the Piazza Duomo, visit the cathedral of course, and viewing the main square from high above for free. Instead of paying the cathedral's entrance and going up the many steps to the viewing spot, go to the Rinascente rooftop and buy yourself a glass of wine. You'll first have to go through the Rinascente mall, pass the several shops and boutiques, go to the very last floor where you'll find a cafeteria. Opposite to it, there is a terrace. You're welcome. We paid 4.5 euros for a cheeky red wine, which is my favorite wine by the way, and they brought us chips, olives, peanuts, and mini sandwiches. Watch our Tuscany video. It's our most popular video on YouTube. We had that same wine and went to their vineyards too. The view is outstanding and the vibes are perfect for a relaxed sunset. Your Instagram pictures will be fantastic here. Dining is half the price of anything downstairs in the main square. Compare the prices, it really is cheaper. Most people don't see this rooftop, they just see the Aperol Terrace, so they go there and get ripped off. Now you know the trick. The piazza marks the center of the city, rectangular in shape, it includes some of the most important buildings in Italy, and it's the biggest tourist attraction in Milan. The cathedral was originally created in the 14th century, but it took over 600 years to build. You can visit the rooftop of the cathedral for only 10 euros and enjoy the spectacular views and architecture from the above. It's the fourth largest church in the world. At the very entrance of the Galleria on the Piazza Duomo side, there is a fantastic ice cream gelato shop called Amorino. You just have to try it. Queues here are insane, but it's worth the wait. One of the best gelatos in Milan. The Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II is Italy's oldest active shopping mall and a major landmark of Milan. The Galleria is named after Vittorio Emanuele II, the first king of the Kingdom of Italy, completed in 1867. On the ground are four mosaics portraying the coat of arms of the four capitals of the Kingdom of Italy, Turin, Florence, Rome and Milan. Why are people turning on these tiles, specifically on these tiles? Tradition says that if a person spins three times with the heel on the testicles of this bowl from Turin's coat of arms, it'll bring you good luck. If you're very hungry, we recommend eating at this place. Trattoria San Filippo. Amazing! It's a tiny bit far, but it's 100% worth it. With only 40 euros, three people eat first and second course, a side dish, a dessert, and wine. That's 13 euros per person. That's a crazy price for Milan. Locals come here for lunch and dinner. You won't find tourists since it's completely unknown. First course, second course, uh, a side dish and a dessert and wine, all of it for 40 euros. Yeah. So it was three of us, 40 euros divided by three. It's like 13 euros per person for all of that. Oh my god. 
Now we're having grappa. It's a grappa barique. The name is Nardini Risetto. And then we're gonna have a coffee. Italian ristretto. I didn't Towards the end, you can join the folk outside playing cards. Super cool environment you can't get anywhere else. La Scala is an opera house in Milan. Built in 1778, it's regarded as one of the leading opera and ballet theaters in the world. Greatest artists and finest singers from around the world come here. Find the 2019 calendar and prices to all ballets, operas, and concerts below in the description. Right in front of the theater, you may find a beautiful statue of the great Leonardo da Vinci, Italian inventor and universal genius of the Renaissance period. Now here's the biggest tip we can give you. Your city movements, don't do them by car, but by foot, bike, or subway. We don't recommend using a car since it's full of restrictions and it's very easy to get a fine. Subway connection is very efficient and saves you tons of time. You may purchase a standard ticket for 1.5 euros and it lasts up to 90 minutes or a 24 hour ticket for 4.5 euros or a 48 hour ticket for 8.25 euros. The longer the duration and the more you save. However, we recommend buying an option that nobody talks about and it's called Settimanale 2x6. It costs 10 euros and it allows you to travel twice per day for a total length of 90 minutes each ride. This way you don't have any time constraints allowing you to use bikes. Alternatively, you can rent a bike from Bike MI and go green. Rent it for either a full day or for a week. All you do is register online, select the daily package, 4.5 euros, or weekly package, 9 euros, and after you've paid, you get a username and password and unlock your bike. Done! The first half hour ride is free. After that, you pay 50 cents for any extra 30 minutes. The timer resets when locking the bike in the designated areas. You can find tons of them around and scattered throughout the whole city. Since you're moving between landmarks that are close to each other, you won't pay anything extra. And 4.5 euros per day is a super bargain, trust us. Our top priority is first, to save you money. Second, to live the place like if you were a local. And third, to enjoy the most without compromises. I'm from Italy and there's absolutely no way you're getting out of my country without doing the coolest and cheapest things possible. And you'll never get ripped off. I promise you. We're trying to reach 2,000 subscribers and only your help can make the difference. Subscribe, comment, like and share if you care supporting us. Feel free to take a look at our popular low-cost travel guides here. Check our entire free Emirates Masterclass course here. We'd love to know your experience in the comments below. If you have any other questions, just ask and I will reply. As always, it's my pleasure to do videos. Hope you liked it and keep it rolling, guys.